Hey team, this is Sean with American Family Concealment. Today I wanted to do a channel update for you guys and also let you know what's going on as far as the products uh, that we have that we're going to be reviewing. First, I know it's been a few months since I've done a video and part of that reason is I've recently been injured in the back and haven't been able to do a whole lot. And also I spent uh, the summer and the late spring uh, with the family trying to go on trips because it's been a couple of years now since we've gotten to do that. Uh, my oldest daughter just graduated high school and I wanted to make sure we got some time spent with her. And also we wanted to make the products that we're using and reviewing more of an everyday carry. So I wanted to actually use them uh, for a long period of time um, that way we can get a, a good honest review of how they work for our everyday carry and our everyday life as far as how they, they apply to my everyday life, whether it be everyday carry or uh, competitions. So I wanted to make sure that we had either A, a lot of rounds through them or uh, if it's a firearm or they had a lot of use for what they're uh, designed to do. So I just didn't want to take them out on the range or take them outside and use them for a few minutes or just for a couple hundred rounds um, and say yep they're good or get the initial impression of them. I wanted um, a good impression of them. I wanted to see how they lasted. So some of these products you will find that we've spent weeks and weeks and weeks using them and some of them been several months uh, that they've been in my possession that I've actually used them. I've used them in competitions, I've used them in uh, everyday carry and so on. So Let's take a closer look at the products and we'll just do a kind of a brief overview of what's coming up in the videos and what products you can look forward to uh, as far as the reviews. Okay team, so here are a few of the products that you guys can look forward to seeing on the channel. Some of them we've had for weeks, some of them we've been using for months, and some of them like the Hoppies Cleaner here, I've just got and I haven't had a chance to actually use those and see how they work, but I do have about a dozen guns that need to be cleaned from long rifles to uh, handguns, so we'll see how that goes. First thing I want to kind of dive into, uh, and that you guys can kind of look forward to seeing on the channel, is uh, this Gen 5 19 MOS. Now, you do know that I have a 17 MOS, and I love that gun, but we also have this gun here that we've had for a few months. I've been carrying for my uh, EDC. I have upgrades on it that we will be discussing and doing full reviews on those as well. And we've also made a couple modifications on there, but still within factory and manufacturer specs. So uh, we'll be covering that as well. Next, I want to move on to uh, night vision sights. Now, I've been running these for quite a while now, and uh, I've got a couple sets of them. I've operated these in... Um, everyday carry. I've used them for competitions and whatnot as well so we'll be doing a review on how those work. Done a lot of low light shooting with these and a lot of low light competitions with these and did some low light classes with these as well so we'll let you know how those work out and how we like them. We do have uh, a Phoenix um, flashlight here that we've been using so we'll let you know how we like that. We've done it for everyday carry. We've used it for um, classes and multiple applications so we'll let you know what we think of that in a view video for the Phoenix flashlights. Also we have purchased recently an Olight flashlight I will be using this one for a few weeks before we do a full review of this but you can look forward to that coming up soon because um, I've been using it for a little bit now but not long enough to where I want to actually get the video out on that so you can look forward to that as well. And another thing is, I know people have done them, but uh, we've been doing, and we have one video up on PMAGs, but I've been using these PMAGs uh, in competitions, been using them in training classes and whatnot, and I've been using them pretty rough and pretty hard. I'll let you know why I'm using these and what applications I use them as far as more in depth of the application I use them for and the reason behind it and what I think of them. Next, we have, let me lay these down, uh, we have a Nomad Defense. This is a Nomad 9 um, a frame that we've been using. We will be posting a full review video of this for the, it goes for a Gen 4 
uh, 19, but it is Nomad Defense's frame. For that, we've been testing it and trying that out, carrying it, so we'll let you guys know what we think of that and do a full, full review of that. Also, something that doesn't really have to do with uh, self-defense or anything, but kind of a nostalgia type video is, I, a number of years ago, had uh, a dear friend of mine who was kind of like an adopted grandmother, I guess, um, had bought me a, it's a Ruger Vaquero, she bought me this pistol back in the early 2000s. And the reason why I want to do a video on this gun is because, for one, uh, something happened to it. I had to send it back to Ruger recently, and I really want to share the experience that I had with that. Uh, as far as dealing with the company, their turnaround time, um, and just how I was uh, dealt with as far as you know, how the customer service went on that. But also, it's a cool gun. Um, and why I spent the money having it fixed and repaired. Um, many people don't understand this particular part about the Vaquero, uh, of why it was important, not just for a um, sentimental value, but from a possible collector value or perfect per, uh, collector perspective of why I had this thing fixed and why I did it when I did it and why it was important to get it done ASAP. So with that being said, we will be doing a video of that in case any of you guys have any of these original Ruger Vaqueros out there, you might want to watch the video and find out uh, why you shouldn't get rid of it or why I believe anyway you shouldn't get rid of it. So again, these are just a few guys, a few of the products that we will be reviewing on the channel. We do have more, but I have a small table here, and I kind of want to keep it short and sweet. If you guys have comments or questions about these products that you want to see answered on the videos, let us know in the comment section down below. We have not done all the videos yet on these, so we will try to address those in the videos on these products. Um, again, we thank you guys for watching our videos. We thank you for the new supporters we have, for the guys that have been hanging out with us for a couple years now, and for the understanding of why we haven't been able to put out videos as often as what we had been doing. Uh, we hope everybody has a great day, and remember, take your kids out shooting.